Official starter waves the green, and we're underway here in New Hampshire. Truex, the pole sitter, chose the outside lane, gets a really nice start, easily clears the nine into turn one. Bubba Wallace trying to get that outside quarter panel right there on Chase Elliott. Finally, Chase realizes he's there. And Christopher Bell, a little bit further back, got a really bad exit off of turn two, and they're all piling around him on the outside. Look at that momentum. Bubba Wallace off of turn four. Saw that outside work really well yesterday in the Xfinity race. AJ, all he can. Oh, oh we got a big man. crash on the back straightaway. Wow, big contact by the 48. Bowman involved, Josh Balicki. There's the 42 car. Ty Dillon. And Ty Dillon, horrible week. 42 got crossed up. Found Come out. across our nose. We right reared him. He just got loose. Nowhere to go. Ty Dillon found out this week he would not be back in this car. Needs good runs to try to turn some heads for some car owners to get an opportunity. This is not what he was wanting. Bad contact there for the 48 car. It's going to end the day. Looks like there's multiple issues with the suspension there as we see the replay and the 42 gets into the door of the 31 and the overcorrection back up the racetrack into Bowman. Oh, big contact with the 78 as well. He had left the scene. We didn't see that originally. And here comes the 77 sliding in. Damage to the right side door of that and the left rear. This will be another good look at it. Yeah, just going for the same real estate. We saw some similar things there yesterday with Josh Berry and a couple cars. And the 78 hard into the outside wall. Here he comes. I think he is. Oh, the 38's having some trouble here. That might cost the 38 a lap. No kidding. 19 could pass him coming to the line. Looks oh. like he's going to be able to stay on the lead lap. Martin Trix Jr. wins his sixth stage win of 2022, guys. Would you believe that that is the most of all drivers? You were never coming to back, back to pit road again. But... Oh, smoke. A big crash oh, in the back goodness. right here. Can't tell the 21, 34. Big damage on the 7. Left destroyed the, the 7. Square hit. Get a roll when he can. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, it has ruined at least the sevens day. Heavy damage on the 34. Cora enjoyed such a good race last week. Get to the garage if you can. And this car is... You're on fire hurts. here, bud. Get down off the racetrack. Deep down into turn one. The seven loose overcorrects. Big slap into the 21. And that's something I thought we would see a lot of this year with this quicker steering box and the rack and pinion. These cars, drivers, had manual steering boxes for decades, and now we went to a rack and pinion, and the steering is much quicker. And so when you have that moment, that back end step out, these guys don't have a lot of experience. Spotter doing a nice job communicating the team. Let's take a look here. Jeff, all right, he's already backwards. There's the contact for sure. One disappointing you know, moment for Penske cars. Here you go. Oh, it just gets high, real high, loses control of the back is a great opportunity for the other one. The 12 spins around, and that hurts his efforts, but Joey Logano and the 22 team really needed that. They were gonna He's going to have to work hard in that bottom groove. Oh, oh, lock up on the 23 of Bubba Wallace, left front tire. That was great recognition by Bubba Wallace. He had the tires locked up. I've seen many drivers not recognize it and drive right into the wall. The 14 car with a problem. Yeah, we well, got. looks like he is. Didn't really hit anything. Maybe he spun around, Steve, and he's got it righted. Tens back here slow as well. I don't know if he just stopped for the spun. Figuring this car out here in New Hampshire. Denny oh, Hamlin. we got a spin. Sorry. Kyle pushes around on the front straightaway in front of a lot of cars. Straight, straight, straight. He spins straight. out again I keep rolling here. today and has no contact. A lot of guys able to get slowed down and avoid contact as well. There may have been a few guys make a little contact with the wall and so forth and each other, but everyone really lucky to get away with that one. Kyle Busch spins out from 13th position. I just mentioned how he had worked his way back into this race, and we've got some some interesting oh. contact on the oh. back straightaway. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? The three of Austin You're Dillon. On, here. We'll get him later. The three of Austin Dillon and Brad Kowalski totally have him. A very serious disagreement down the back straightaway, and it's really hurt this six car. Wow. Not sure exactly what started it, but they were banging on each other down the back straightaway, really angry. I'm not sure they're done. Self-destructing. Watch this here. So the three goes up here, swerves at the six, and then Brad just loses it. Wow. 
Let's listen to the six audio. Get away from a guy trying to wreck me down the back stretch. The four, come on, come around him. So what happened before all this? You know, like what what started this? You see, like the damage you talked about is dragging the left front splitter, the left front tires down though. Just wonder to see what's getting torn up in that. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely not going to help the performance of the six car. Let's see what happened to the 18. Like just, oh, it just gets loose. Yep. That's the left front. Has, oh, man, nice job of the 99. He put that left front on apron. Stage two is the 15th time Truex has swept the first two stages of a race. He's only won six of those. But this 19 car is the car to beat still today. Only, Marty. Boy, Kevin Harvick made the call here for two tires at fuel to Oakley. Oh, and a tight race, and he hits Austin Dillon here on pit road. Dillon sideways in his pit stall, Parker. Right in for Chase Elliott. It's Chase again slows the car down to wrap around the corner. That Chase, look at the 20 car. Christopher Bell draws into this battle. Chase almost clear. He is clear, but he allows Kurt to come back on the outside. All good, all good, all good. He takes the line the away from the 45. The Here coming. comes the 20 car. Inside, just get your run here. Chase is going to have the momentum off the corner to clear the 20 of Christopher Bell. Chris Back in New Hampshire in a battle for the lead. Christopher Bell to the inside of Chase Elliott right here in lap traffic. Can he get the job done? Off of turn two, the 20 car is clear in the new leader. No Please, pressure, nobody, Rick. Coming to the white. White flag is all I wanted to see as a crew chief. And it's so long around there. <laughs> it takes forever to get to that white. Off of turn four, the 20 car looking for that white flag to wave. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank for Christopher Bell. This will be his second career win in 92 starts. His first in New Hampshire. He could be the 14th driver to win in 2022. So much success in the Xfinity Series. He's been looking for some consistency and some wins now at the cup level. Off turn four and nothing between him and the checkered flag. Christopher Bell wins at New Hampshire. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great improvement on pit road. Adam, you're the man. I don't know what you did, but you woke this thing up. Welcome to playoffs. Good job, guys. Chase Elliott second, Bubba Wallace crosses the finish line third. Martin Tricks Jr. getting around Kevin Harvick there for fourth position. Christopher Bell, though, gets his first win of the year, guys, and puts himself in the playoffs. Yeah, a huge day for these guys. Kurt Busch, by the way, that strategy pitted, came all the way back to finish 10th. Christopher Bell comes down pit road. I honestly cannot believe it. Getting ready to figure out how to do some donuts with the next game car. This is your checkered flag moment brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. As Christopher burns down a used set of Goodyear Eagles. All those wins in Xfinity are showing off because he knows how to do donuts. Impressive. Fourth win this season for Joe Gibbs Racing. They're 12th at New Hampshire. So through, through the years, through 20 races, 14 different winners in 2022. There's years that this has happened before. As Christopher climbs out and celebrates the fans, they celebrate him.